Well, I only have to move this about about right here. Okay. Now I've got it upside down. It goes like this. I put that fiberglass cloth in this area right here. And up here I'm going to cut a large hole like this. Remove it. Put the cover on the outside. Braze it down at the bottom. Braze it up at the top. Then I'll drill some holes and this outer cover coming out that way. It's mounted like this. That has to be mounted like this. Three horse pad, pipe in, hot rod muffler, glide pad. Okay, the way you do that is, <coughs> so dead out of there. be enough. The more you put in there, the better it is. Too much. So that's centered up. I'm put that in and brace all that up. And then drill some holes right there. Before 
I braised this little item up. It's a glass pack hot rod type muffler for a three horsepower McCormick Deering International Harvester IHC Type M engines. Works great. Other brands also. But I'll show you what we did in order to get that mellow 1950s hot rod sound. Quite pleasing to the ear. Cut a little tin disc there. Fits in the top. I'll braise that completely over with brass and grind it down to a dome, slight dome type cap on it. And I marked it off right there on the outside. And, and that's where I'm going to drill some holes at. The equivalent of surface area as to the diameter here, one and a half inch pipe. But let's break this down. It deserves a little serious look as these do sound quite pleasing to the ear. But this is what we did. <clears throat> let's just break it all the way down. You'd be well rewarded <clears throat> You'd be well rewarded as to the uh, pleasing the pleasing sound that you end up with with this modification. The original muffler on them engines cast iron, little pancake looking thing down there. So what I done, I took a one and a half inch pipe thread, black pipe, schedule 40, and I put in a lathe over and, and I cut a I cut a little I, I cut the inside of that out to where it fits this piece of tubing, thin wall. I don't know what that was, exhaust tubing probably. But I drilled all them amount of holes in there on the drill press. This ring here was turned out to a sliding fit. Cut that out. I'll show you how it's going to work. What we're going to do is fill this area in here, that's about an eighth of an inch thickness uh, cavity. So what we're going to do is fill that up with this fiberglass cloth. Oh, it's just the kind you use it. Uh, you get over at Walmart even to uh, polyester, some kind of, whatever it is, you, you, can, you can know about it. But wind it, you know, just tightly around there so you get a lot on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I have built I have built a good a good many of these glass pack mufflers. I have built a lot of them. And uh I, I have found them to be quite pleasing to the ear. I'm just, just telling you, you, you'll be rewarded to do this. Okay. See, I want to, I want to get a. See, that's kind of frayed up there, so I want to, I want to make a twist where I can get a, a good edge down here at the bottom, so I can capture all that other stuff in there and get a tight fit around through there, you know. Okay. And I think these two, th these two pieces right here is actually a, a pretty decent amount. And that's pretty full. And, and you don't want to get too full where it's probably a sliding of, and, and now, <coughs> so this is what we got, glass pack. Yeah, that's enough. 
I don't know, I'm gonna try another one. You know what? If I could get another one in there, it would just be better. But, well, it's gonna be iffy. Well, I think we're gonna have success with it. I'm not sure about the whole thing, because it's, I'm just going to go with that much milk right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be very good. And then I marked it there how much room I had to work with. Uh, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So you have to stuff it in there when it's getting on borderline too much. Just stuff it in there. Oh yeah. I'm going to slide that back up and take a belt sander to that before I break it. Yeah, belt sander over that right there. I ought to get a good brace joint there. And then up there at the top, so you can see the wall thickness there where that cavity is going to be at. So actually... Okay, then that ended up right in the center of the cut place out in there if I wanted to drill in that area. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide that down to where that's level with the top. Actually, it needs to be up just a little bit. No more than that. Okay, let's go braze that in there. Thank you. 
we'll go take the file to them corners right there, call that finished. And we'll get some paint on that, get that on that engine. A muffler. Yeah, we're good to go. Oh yeah, that's more better. Now let's get some paint on it, get it on the engine. International, three horsepower. This is a little on the hot rod side there, glass pack, shop built. And I think it's gonna just sound wonderful. And uh, we'll get some at their charcoal, at their, uh, and their grill paint, you know, it's at their high temperature, rust -oleum, three coats on that exhaust system. Hey, y'all come on back. We'll put a couple more parts on this thing. I got that up there at that Doug Thornhill Estate auction sale. Y'all remember it? Come on back. Leave a comment.